All right, let me adjust this because it kind of fell. We are going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It's one of my favorite books by Eric Carl. Eric Carl is probably one of my favorite um, authors. He writes fun books that always have surprising things in them. Let's see if I can get to the right page. They're all kind of, there we go. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Sunday morning, the sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On, let me see if I can pull back so you can see all of it. Okay. On Monday, he ate through one apple right here but he was still hungry on tuesday he ate through two pears but he was still hungry on wednesday he ate through three plums but he was still hungry on thursday he ate through four strawberries but he was still hungry on Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Sunday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cheese, some salami, a lollipop, pie, a hot dog, a cupcake, and a watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. I would have a stomach ache, too, if I ate all that. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. See the green leaf? See the little holes? Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. That's what the cocoon looks like. Typically they're hanging like this. You'll see them um, sometimes out on trees or bushes and they're actually hanging like this. He became a beautiful butterfly. It's really kind of sad that we're not in school because um, I have done in the past um, where we hatched uh, butterflies. We got the caterpillars, we watched them grow, we watched them make the cocoon, or the chrysalis is another word for it. And um, we would watch them make their little chrysalis and then you could see them kind of moving around in it. And then after um, probably about a week, maybe a little longer, they would come out and they would be these beautiful butterflies. And then we would release them. And it was always a lot of fun. Maybe we can do that next year. It'll give us something to look forward to. Maybe we'll be, come back to school in time. Let's hope. We'll talk to you guys later.